Hey guys, one thing I forgot to do before I recorded this video is an intro. I just kind of jumped into things. But if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos of me acting a fool. No, I don't do that. Shenanigans, well, we do a little bit of that. But generally day-to-day -day runnings of my life and what I do in my business. So guys, again, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. Take a look at this. Well guys, we're back out here in the field again, battling the bugs and the circle flies. But it's time that we're going to reveal to you my wife's new ride. I've dropped some hints. If you're following me on Instagram, you'll see that the other day I dropped a picture of the word turbo on the back of this car obviously the car was red and with a little bit of research we've come to find that this car has 201 horsepower it is classified as a two-door coupe but sometimes a four-door sometimes a three-door sometimes even a hatchback it's a little bit of an oddity and there's not another car out there on the market like it. And as I sit here and stare at it, I, I said to my wife earlier this evening, I cannot discern which angle of this car is more sexy. The front, the rear, the side, the interior. But nonetheless, it's time to reveal the new car. But before I do that, I'm going to leave you hanging for a few more minutes. We are back in the field where one of my last videos on the Toyota Sienna van uh, met its demise, where we officially retired the van. In fact, we haven't officially done it yet because she's still driving it. And she's mad at me because I'm making her take it to work tomorrow. The reason for that is, is because we need to make sure we can go over the car um, you know, do a pre-sale inspection like we do, like we would for anybody else, and fix what needs to be fixed, uh, address some of the uh, minor little things that we got to do to this car. But uh, nonetheless, it's got four brand new tires. It had four winter tires stuffed in the back of it, which were almost like new. So, guys, without further ado, it is time to reveal to you the 2013. Hyundai Veloster GT Turbo. So guys, let me know what you think of the 2013 Hyundai Veloster GT Turbo. I think it's a great little car. It seems to have plenty of get up and go, 201 horsepower and a six speed, all kinds of power. Um, I've never driven too much in my line of work, believe it or not, with a turbo with the exception of maybe like a Chevy Cruze or something like that. But uh, this car has got it. It's sporty, fun to drive. And because it's a GT model, it's loaded. It's got heated seats, it's got bugs, probably in the cockpit now. It's got heated seats, it's got a full panoramic sunroof, or moonroof, however you want to call it. Uh, GPS, satellite radio, uh, the list goes on and on and on. And one of the neatest features, as I described earlier, 
is the fact that this car is a two-door hatchback. Yet on the passenger side, it's a four-door hatchback. And I think one of the reasons why Hyundai did this was simply if you're driving in North America, and I'm not sure if these cars are available anywhere else in the world, but if you're driving in North America, when you stop on the side of the road, the side of the road is on the passenger side. So therefore, when the person gets out of the back seat, they don't have to disrupt the driver, they can get out their own door. Whereas on the side here, somebody getting out of the driver's seat, the driver either has to get out or cram the seat all the way forward for them to climb out like a standard two-door would be. But this kind of has the best of both worlds. Now I know some of you are gonna sit there and they're gonna be laughing and heckling and saying, eh, Hyundai Von Laster, it's not a very fun car. It's, it's Hyundai. Well, guess what? I think they've done it right. And besides what all of you guys think, ultimately at the end of the day, it's what my wife thinks. I bought it for her as kind of a lift her spirits. She's into this new job. She's out of the old that she wanted to get out of for a while. And now she's got something to brag about. It's her car. It's sporty. And she loves it. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's all about keeping Mama happy. And when Mama's happy, that's right. So I guess all we can say with this car is that I know for a fact that I've hit it out of the ballpark because she is still smiling, kind of like me back when I was taking a ride in that Demon, which I'll put the link to that video right here. But... Uh, we went for a drive before I had a meeting tonight and when I got done we went for another little drive and I told her I was going out to, uh, to shoot this video and she was a little bit sad that she had to get out of the car. I asked her to come along but with these bugs out here I know she wouldn't survive five minutes. So anyways guys we're gonna hop in the car we're gonna go for a little drive and we're gonna enjoy what little bit of seat time I'm going to have in this car because Mark my words, I won't be driving it much. And best of all, don't take her, she's all I've got. It's got satellite radio. And yes, Prime Country. She even programmed Prime Country into the preset for me. Channel 58. So I'm going to get the camera set up so that we can... I can drive and not have to hold the camera. You know, unlike... Unlike Send It Steve and Street Speed and all those guys who try and drive their stick with their left hand... I don't think I'm that coordinated, so I'm going to get this thing set up so that I can drive with both hands. There, can you see me now?
2,500 pounds. And if that's not what it weighs, I'll look it up and I'll put it right here so you can see it. But with all the amenities, the nicely bolstered seats, they kind of just fit and hug you. Uh, they are heated for when in the winter time. You can uh, hop in and toast your butt. It does have the panoramic sunroof that opens up all the way like I mentioned before which is a pretty neat feature I'm not big on sunroofs but you know there's a time and there's a place now I do know that the Hyundai Veloster is not necessarily a unique car other than it being a three-door but in St. Stephen there's not very many of them there is a nice blue one with the matte finish. And of course, this one being red, gloss red, it gets a lot of looks from the tinted windows and the big wheels and, the, and just simply being red and a car that you don't see every day. In my one of my last videos, I talked, somebody asked me what my dream car was and I said that it was the car that I own, the Chrysler Cordoba, simply because it's a car you don't meet yourself coming in every day. This car is a car you simply don't meet yourself in every day. this unveiling of my wife's new Hyundai Veloster GT. I encourage you to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this and follow me on a daily day-to-day -day basis. Thanks for watching. Thanks for giving it a big thumbs up and we will catch you in the next upload. This is my car? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know. I mean because it's not a minivan. And I'm sorry, it's not a Z24. It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Okay, folks. <laughs> I'm just saying. She stalled it. Swear by the look on your face, you just had a ride in a demon. This is a fun little car. This is just what I wanted. I'm sorry, it's not a Z24. It's pretty freaking close. Wow! What's wrong with that clutch, too? I can drive it like it is. I know what's wrong with it. Doing listing 
to the preview channel. You could be listening to game winning plays um, as I they hope happen. That's been... Get updates on the latest. I haven't activated it yet. Free channel 58? Prime country? Yeah. And that's all she wrote, folks. <laughs>